Walking down the aisle is a special moment for any bride, but for Emily, it was layered with emotion, without her father by her side. Gordon um, was killed in a motorcycle accident about two or three weeks before. So obviously emotions were running high. We sort of wanted the wedding to go ahead as a focus. And, th and then this happened, you know, you, you just couldn't write it, you know. It... <laughs> couldn't write it or couldn't walk it, as was the case for Emily's sister and bridesmaid Charlotte, who had twisted her ankle just three hours before the ceremony. Looked down, my foot was behind my leg. Ouch, it really hurt. And I heard a crack and the other people in the room were like, oh, that doesn't sound good. I immediately looked down, I could see the swelling coming up and I thought, uh-oh. This isn't good. Missing her father, Emily was determined that her sister too wouldn't miss being witness to her vows. I thought at that stage that she wouldn't be there. And I got to Lillyshaw Hall and um, my mum asked them to stall it, but it wasn't until they saw me and I think they took pity on me and they stalled the wedding a little bit. Meanwhile at the Princess Royal in Telford, Charlotte was in X-ray. Charlotte was clearly going somewhere very special uh, that day, uh, wearing her dress with the flowers in her hair, and it became clear she was off to a very important life event, her sister's wedding. I was very relieved it wasn't broken, one for her because the injury is not as severe, but two, then the treatment that we need to do takes less time, which obviously gave her the best opportunity to actually get there in time. And she did, just in time to walk down the aisle ahead of her sister, Today, she walked back to A&E to thank the doctor. 50 minutes late, but made it there just in time, <laughs> so you saved, saved the day. And what would the father of the bride have thought of the wedding day drama? <laughs> he would have found it quite amusing. Yeah, you know, typical Charlotte. I think he would have, he would have loved it. Emma Thomas, BBC Midlands Today, Telford. <laughs>